a South-South collaboration that was born when Morocco's King Mohammed visited Abidjan in 2014. The close to $200 million Cocody Bay project, jointly managed by Marshik Ahmed, a Moroccan state-owned company, and the Ivorian government, will see the construction of dams, bridges and road infrastructure, and the development of a marina, port works, and an urban park along Abidjan's Abria Lagoon by 2019. The citizens will first experience odour and depollution. The project will allow the circulation of water around the interior of the city. Once we open up a connection with the Atlantic, we will have better circulation and citizens will be able to fish again in four or five years. We will also stop the significant flooding that makes it impossible for citizens to pass certain areas during the rainy season. We have four phases and over these first nine months we will focus on developing specific zones. We will create both direct and indirect jobs. As we start the heavier work we will create more than 5,000 jobs and we will need about the same amount for the four different phases. Once the site is complete it will not be residential. Instead it will house hotels, malls, restaurants and as a result we will generate more employment for the citizens. Just two months in, construction on Abidjan's Ebre Lagoon is well underway. And they say the project will end the industrial and urban dumping and environmental degradation that has taken place here. The first phase will focus on the technical studies on the land, as well as protecting against flooding and deep pollution. With the launch of the first phase of the project, Morocco's Atija Riwafa Bank released almost $20 million to the Ivorian government and will see the site reforested and redeveloped in a green corridor of more than 3,000 hectares. They say the project will generate thousands of direct and indirect jobs in the country. Abidjan still relies on its 1970 urban plan and its Guru Basin has seen increased pollution, repeated flooding and accelerated silting by massive urbanization. This renewal system incorporating new estuaries at Petit Bassam and Grand Bassam will significantly improve the quality of the waters of the lagoon and locals will benefit from a healthier environment and the development of a number of social and economic aspects, including fishing activities in the lagoon. Uche Okoronkwa, CCTV, Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire.